Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down there. It uh, helps the channel in many ways, and it's an easy thing for you to do. All right. What's on the table? Well, this is the Rainier Knives Base Camp. Now, for those of you that have been part of the channel for a while, you'll know that I have the Rainier Knives Fast Pack, which is a smaller knife, and I use it as sort of a companion knife to my JX-5. The JX-5 does the chopping. The Rainier Knives Fast Pack does the slicing. But I've always wished it was just a little bit bigger, and here we are. Now, if you watch the unboxing, you'll know that I really enjoyed this thing when I got it in my hand, but I wanted to wait until I could put it to work before doing the review, which only makes sense. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to go camping. I know. I know. I'm as disappointed as you are, believe me. But I was able to take this over to a property that I help manage, and it put in a few days of really just great outdoor work. And so now we're back, and I can tell you with absolute sincerity, this is a marvelous tool. So what do you get? Well, this happens to be black canvas micarta. You get an LMAX blade with this sort of saber grind. All right, it's a traditional drop point. It has just enough drop from the flats down to the edge to be a really slicey grind. It is a very nice cutter. It is very comfortable even in my big old hands, right? More than enough handle, right? And if your hands were slightly smaller than mine, this would be well, probably even better. But for me, it is a really comfortable grab. And that matters with a fixed blade because you're doing a lot of repetitive, often a lot of repetitive work. I cut branches and bushes and trimmed vines. And of course, I cut all the stuff I cut for my usual tests. Seatbelt material, paracord, even some cable. And this thing sliced through all of them without so much as a blink. And that's back down to the LMAX. It's just a fantastic steel. It's thick enough this way to be a comfortable grip without being fat. So when it is in the sheath, now this is the stock sheath. I have not had my buddy make me a new one yet, right? But it works, right? It's designed to be, you know, you can carry it this way. But that, honestly, I just slipped this thing in my pocket. And when I needed it, I took it out, popped it out of the sheath and went to work. I love their designs. They don't have a lot of knives. They have the fast pack and this, but that's okay. Because I would rather they make two superb knives, and they have, than mess around and make a bunch of stuff just in the interest of having a larger catalog. My hope is that this, of course, is the next step, and the third step will be an even bigger knife, because I really like their design aesthetic. As a user, it is superb, right? It has a lanyard space down here, which you can see. You'd want to pull the scales off, I think, to really get at it effectively. But of course, since they're just held on by torques, it is not hard to do. The black canvas micarta on this one in particular has got excellent grip. I assume they're all the same way. It's got jimping right where my thumb lands which is unusual. Usually it's back too far for me, but uh, no, this is just exactly in the right spot. So if you're doing push cuts or you're whittling something, this is in a great spot. The blade itself is got a 90 degree spine, but it is chamfered, right? So if you're going to uh, strike a firestone with this, you're not going to be doing it with this edge up here. You can do it with this little notch, the sharpening notch down there. I've done it. And of course you can do it with the blade itself. Not the best choice, but you can do it. What do you get? Well, for $180, which by the way is not a lot of money for a very well-made fixed blade, you'll have this knife until you're done with knives. I really believe that. The Fast Pack and I have been through a ton of camping trips. It has put in a ton of work and it shows only, the only place it shows anywhere is the black canvas micarta on my Fast Pack is filthy. Other than that, the knife looks exactly the same as it did the day I got it. I think I've sharpened it once. I mean, that means they're getting the heat treat, right? All right, so what do you get? You get a little bit over three and a quarter of cutting, right, on a three and three quarter inch overall blade. You get this notch, this knockout right here, which is actually a bit driver. Um, you know, that's something they carried over from the original Fast Pack. 
I think it looks cool, and in a real pinch it will work, but um, this is not a bit driver, this is a pocket knife. I mean, excuse me, this is, a po this is a knife. Now I suppose, if you really needed to do it, and you had the sheath on it, man, see, you can't get to it that way. So you could pull this out a little bit and then do it like this, which would work. But um, I think it's mostly an aesthetic thing. The grip area from behind that, uh, right behind the uh, plunge right there, is three and three quarters inches down about here. It's a little over three and a half. So the overall knife comes in at seven and a half inches or just shy. I've mentioned that it's light. It is very light. This is not going to be a long review because it doesn't have to be. If you're looking for a good fixed blade that falls into the sort of folding knife size range, the base camp is an excellent choice. You get more blade. Of course, you don't have to worry about the pivot. It's never going to loosen up on you. I can't talk about the action because there is none. But man, it is pokey where you want it, slicey right where you need it to be, and very, very comfortable in hand. This is a great knife. Coming in at just under 8 inches, it rides the hip very well. You can slip it into your pocket and it just disappears. Um, this, of course, as I said, is the stock, just sort of taco sheath, but you could have someone make you, and I'm going to, a more versatile sheath for it. And then, of course, it would be wherever you need it to be as often as you need it. I love a good knife. That's why I got into this. I didn't decide to be a reviewer and then secondhand think, oh, I should look at knives. Nope, I'm a knife nut that happened to start a channel. And so when something really nice comes along, it makes me very, very happy. Balance point on this knife is just a little bit behind the, uh, little bit behind the blade, so it seats into the hand very, very comfortably. Right? It's easy to manipulate. It's very fast. Right? It's quick if you need it to be quick, and because of the way it's designed, you can come forward on it if you're gonna like, like I said, do a little whittling, or if you're cutting a stick down into a steak. It has done all of those things really effectively. For $180, you can get a ton of folders, right? You can get some fixed blades. The thing about folding knives is that you always have to worry about little things like the pivot, you know, like them build developing rust, but stuff building up inside the scales, all sorts of things. A good fixed blade has none of those problems. Now, I'm a folding knife guy. I love folding knives. I just do, right? I love them. But you're never going to hear me say that they are a better tool than a fixed blade. The problem, of course, is that many of us can't carry a fixed blade everywhere we go. This one is small enough that it disappears pretty well. I'm not suggesting that you um, concealed carry knives. I am saying that you can be very discreet with it. And I think that was part of the design idea. They could have made it bigger, but they landed on just this excellent size that it's not obtrusive, right? But it's always there if you need it. And I think that is fantastic. The edge has taken no damage, even cutting through some wire cable. As I've said, I think they got the heat treat just right. All the edges on this knife are knocked down. There's nothing aggressive about it except right where you want it to be. And it is very, very sharp right there. Right? It's very slicey. And that's after I've worked with it. No hangs, no catches, no nothing. The edges remain very, very true. Grind is very well done. I should probably put that where you can see it. It's just a great knife. I will put the link to their website in the description if you're interested in this or the smaller fast pack, which is here, right? Yep, you can see the family line, but they are different knives. Now, do I wish they would make an extra large fast pack? Yeah, because I love that full flat grind, but because of how tall this blade is, you don't give up a lot 
right? Just because there's the flat. And this is, well, my buddy once kind of pointed out that it looks like kind of a steak knife. And I'll tell you, because I tend to use my smaller fixed blades around camp, even around the house, particularly in the kitchen, the fact that this looks a little bit like a steak knife it also translates to a lot of really excellent kitchen use. Both of these are great in that regard. Um, this one's just a little more comfortable in my hand, right? And a little more versatile. If you are gonna use it in the kitchen, you have a lot more cutting surface, so you can, lose, you can use it for larger vegetables, larger cuts of meat, whatever you needed to. I mentioned a couple of times that it is light. Oh, you know, before we do that, let's do some size comparisons. Well, obviously, we just did it against the uh, fast pack, and as you can see, it is considerably larger than the fast pack. All right, here it is against. Well, what can we do? We'll do it against the full size Benchmade Presidio 2. As you can see, it is considerably smaller than that. Here it is against the bug out. These knives are very similarly sized, right? but you get a lot more blade because they don't have to worry about the fold point on the fast pack. And they're similarly priced, particularly if you get one of the fancier bug outs, 180, 140, you know, L max versus S 30 V on this one in particular, you kind of have to choose where you want to put your money. Of course you get a thicker slice of L max than you do S 30 V here. Let's see. Oh. Here it is against the, uh, CPM 20 CV Delica, and as you can see, it is a little longer than the Delica, All right? It's just a really good size. <laughs> it really is. Now let's weigh it. All right, we'll do it without sheath and then with sheath. All right, the unladen weight without the sheath is 2.7 ounces, so weighs less than an ounce more than the bug out. The bug out is 1.9, 1.8, right? So it's slightly, you know, it's just, just under an ounce heavier than the bug out. Uh, but you get full tang construction, right? Uh, it is a thicker slice of metal than you get in the bug out. And so coming in at less than an ounce heavier for this much more knife is fairly astonishing. And that's just very cool. If you put the sheath on it, and as I said, I've been carrying this thing around in my pocket, the total combined weight is 3.7. So the sheath weighs in at about an ounce. How much LMAX do they give you? Well, let's take a look. You get 3.17 millimeters, right? The handle through the thickest point is 15.6 millimeters or just over a half inch. And this way, right here, back here, you know, at the thickest point, of course, back here at the end of the handle, it's almost an inch. It is wonderfully shaped for grip. It really is. So there you have it. This is the Rainier Knives Base Camp. I have had opportunity to take it out and sort of beat it up. No, I didn't baton with it, <laughs> but I did do everything I needed to do in the day with a knife, and it did all of that beautifully. If you're interested in an excellent fixed blade that won't break the bank, break the bank that you will be able to have for a long time, the Rainier Knives Base Camp is probably the knife for you. And again, the link to their website will be down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have enjoyed having it. Uh, check in next time for more folding knives. We'll see you around.